everyone. Welcome to FA Channel. You're in a space where we celebrate art, technology, and creativity. My name is Paris. If you're new here, welcome. In this channel, we're updating three to five videos every week to share new virtual experience, playful experiments, and some cool learning process. So in today's episode, I'm very excited to share with you guys because we're going to turn the day into check this out we turned the cushion into this little baby here digital unicorn cushion that was such a fun process so yeah in today's episode let's get started with how we turn the real cushion into digital on Clo3 d So first of all, you, when you want to turn the object you have into a digital 3D file, you need to measure uh, the height and width. For us, we don't really know how to parton. Like that's, we don't really have the fashion background. Pretty easy to turn something like this into digital if you have like just a ruler. You can just use a proximum measurement. And sometimes it doesn't really have to be that accurate as long as it, the, the ratio is right. You, you want to make as real close to the real item as possible. We start with just like rectangle and then you can smooth the edge, make it round and create the shapes that you think is closer to the re real item. In this process, there are a lot of trying and error um, because we don't really know the pattern of this item but it's pretty straightforward you can in Clo3D you can uh, see right away if you create a shape and you sew it you will see right away what kind of shape it creates so you can play around and see until it turns out to be the, the shape that you desire for and here's the process we have I will make it fast forward for this video to make the video not too long. Take some time, especially the, at the beginning, to try and figure out what's the best way.
And secondly, when you have the desired shape, the exact shape you want, now you can apply the texture. On Cloth 3D, they don't really have the exactly for, te for texture that I can export for 3D object. It's only for rendering, which, is mean, which means if you wanna use this item for animation or photos, it works perfectly. But if you wanna put it into, for example, into VR chat, it doesn't work. So we have to find the fur texture image, the free image online, and then make it seamless on Photoshop. The image we find online is pink. The exactly right color we want is not pink. So we, you have to make it black and white. Then you'll be able to apply color later. And another thing is, we, before I apply color, only use the normal map to be able to apply color later. Just make sure that point. Now it's time to put other textures like this shimmering texture on the foot, foot part and then we add the ear, the horn, other small parts for the cushion. Yeah, so now you can see this item in, from in the digital world is sl slowly start to merge and it looks pretty good so far. Now we only need to put on the colors. For the color part, we also used Photoshop to layer different kind of unicorn colors that we have and then try to play around, see which one's the close, most close with the real, real cushion. Um, yeah, just try to have fun with it. At this point, we want to use this object in the future on VR chat, so it doesn't really necessarily have to be exactly the same. Every spot has to be like exactly the same with a real cushion, but it's from far and you can see like the shape and everything is almost the same. There it is. It's super cool. The only thing is when we export it, 
when you exported the file, you can export it to FBX file or GLB file, but the GLB file doesn't apply the normal map, which means it doesn't have this fur texture. And then when we imported FBX file into the 310 n also the fur doesn't show, but doesn't matter like we tried on VR chat as well, it shows the fur texture, which is good. That's our goal. And if you want to take a nice photo or for some cool photo shoot animation, I'm sure that fur will show as exactly what you want. At this point, I'm just, I'm pretty happy with this. I just love the idea that I'm like having two items exactly the same, one in real life, one in digital. So yeah, that's it for our tutorial. Hope it's fun and helpful for a lot of you. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope this is fun and helpful. If you have any questions in terms of the tutorial, please comment on our YouTube video or just join our Discord server. We'll answer your question as soon as possible. Play around and have fun with it. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. We'll continue making more fun tutorials for on this channel. The fun part of our life is keep creating, keep um, enjoying the process. Thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.